Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about did Infinity Ward ruin DMZ? Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button as well. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So with the release of Season 1 DMZ, they added these missions, so-called faction missions, and you know, they have their tiers. Tier 1's the easiest, Tier 4 and 5 are the hardest. Now, basically, in Season 2, they're going to be resetting all of this, all your stats, all your progress, and basically putting you back to square one, which a lot of people are unhappy about, including myself. Now, I know other extraction shooters do resets, but not to this point. When there's missions inside of the game and you go ahead and complete them, you don't want to have to sit there and complete them again. A lot of people think that they basically took this game and ruined it considering there's no content inside of the game. There's not really much to do other than complete your faction missions. There's not a wide variety of loot. There's not an out of game backpack, which actually creates a lot of diversity in the game. And a lot of people don't really like that. The fact that you can load in and say grab a bottle of wine and you can't extract it and keep it if you want to. A lot of people have been basically worried about DMZ, including myself. DMZ was a good game mode when it first released and then they kind of just slowed down on it there wasn't really much to do a lot of people you know completed their faction missions and me myself i actually sat there and did a lot of my faction missions a lot of people aren't doing them no more which is a very good point because they're getting reset and your progress ain't going to be saved i am actually still doing them because i still want to unlock these rewards because i'm very determined that these new missions that are easier are not going to have the same rewards these rewards might be taken completely out of the game now the content wise of the game there's basically nothing inside of the game if you're being honest with yourself there's absolutely nothing besides faction missions you can't go in the game and say collect items or do something fun with your friends you can if you have your insured weapon but if you do die with it there's a two hour cooldown which does kind of suck and then if you have the insured weapon two slot i think it's six hours or it might be four hours i'm not sure really right now but it definitely sucks when you lose your insured weapon, considering you can't use it for a very long time unless you hop into a match and basically put valuables in a dead drop or exfil with them. But with this new update coming to DMZ, they are adding a new map, which is very good for the game, but they're also making things a lot easier and a lot more um, beginner friendly you know game mode which is fun but in extraction shooters you kind of want a hard challenge like me i usually play solo so playing solo is definitely a lot more difficult which is makes me play this game the thrill of actually loading in and there being thousands of ai around the map and then you have to survive and extract is a good thrill to have and then if they're all easy kind of like six man squads they're going to be way overpowered in this new update in season two it's just kind of sloping down a lot of people aren't really playing since they said they're going to be resetting everything because there really wasn't no point in playing at all at the beginning but a lot of people do also say it's because it's in a beta but i believe that that's not true i believe that basically everybody's complaining about the ai spawns the ai difficulty them shooting you from you know certain meters away or all this stuff had made them want to change it so they keep their player base going it's definitely not looking good so far from down here but who knows they might come through and actually change it and make it a little better i don't know what they're really going to do but all i know is if they reset all this stuff a lot of players are not going to play no more and a lot of people aren't even going to want to do the faction missions because who knows season three might have another reset so what's really the point unless there's new missions with new rewards and you can kind of complete the same missions? I think that would be a better way to go about this than resetting everything for every player, including contraband stash, insured weapon slots, uh, missions, key stash, everything inside the game you're getting reset on. I think it's a very bad decision to do. It's going to lose a lot of player base. And basically myself, I'm going to still play, but it's just going to be hard to man to push these faction missions that I already completed once. So basically myself, all I'm doing right now is going in game and completing the missions that I want the rewards for. Because if you guys don't know, I don't think these rewards are going to stay in the game. So I highly suggest that you guys get in there and do the rewards you guys want to do. That's really all I have for this video. It was kind of like a rant, but I definitely think DMZ is kind of being ruined by Infinity Ward. I think this game's a gem. It's just kind of hidden in uh, poop. So uh, yeah, man, that's really my thoughts right now going on into the season two update. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think the same. Let me know how you guys feel about all this. Um, was it a waste of time? I'm not sure. We'll have to see when the update really comes out. But thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know. Drop a like in the uh, down below. Hit that subscribe button as well. And, with, and I will see you guys in the next one, boys. I'm out. Peace.